Hello everyone. So today we are going to see the solution to question number 30, which was asked in gate 2024 examination. So the question is like you have given a real subspace W of R4 and W perp is the orthogonal complement. Okay, so what is the orthogonal complement? The vectors which are orthogonal to W. So let me just recall it for you. So if uh, W perp, what is a W perp? It is nothing but all those vectors in this case it is R4 such that in a product of x comma y is 0 for all y belongs to w that means you look for those vectors in a vector space r4 which is orthogonal that means the inner product is 0 for all vectors y in w so that's what i mean by an orthogonal complement so w perp is here and two subspaces w1 and w2 is given to you they are nothing but the span of a single vector so from here one can easily see that since w1 is a span of single vector so dimension of w1 and dimension of w2 is nothing but 1 dimension of w1 is same as dimension of w2 which is nothing but 1 because they are nothing but the span of a single vector okay good now what about next thing what is the question asked to you the question is we have to find the dimension of w1 per intersection w2 per now is this an easy question answer is yes now let's try to see the solution so now what you want to find you want to find dimension of w1 perp intersection w2 perp but by de morgan's law we know that dimension of w1 perp intersection w2 perp is nothing but w1 union w2 perp right by de morgan's law so now you, if you take dimension on both side you have dimension of w1 inter perp intersection w2 perp is dimension of w1 union w2 perp but if you recall what is if x is any subspace so dimension of x plus dimension of x perp is always equal to the dimension of our vector space because our di vector space is always the direct sum of x direction x perp so therefore dimension of w1 union w2 perp is nothing but dimension of r4 minus dimension of w1 union w2 which is nothing but 4 minus dimension of w1 union w2 so once I get the dimension of W1 union W2, my job is over. So now let us try to find the dimension of W1 union W2. But we know that what by inclusion exclusion principle, what is dimension of W1 union W2? It is dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of W1 intersection W2. Right? But now what is dimension of W1 intersection W2? So let X belongs to w1 intersection w2 that means x is in w1 and x is in w2 but x is in w1 means what x is in the span of that vector so what is that vector if you recall let me show you that vector so x is nothing but the span of 1 0 0 minus 1 so therefore your x is nothing but some alpha times what was it i forgot one second yeah it is one zero zero minus one and your x is in w2 so x is some beta times what is the beta vector two one zero minus one so now here your xx is same so what do you sorry xx is same so what do you get you get alpha times one zero zero minus one equal to beta times two one zero minus one but the second condition implies, so if you multiply inside alpha, so alpha is 2 beta first component, 0 is equal to beta third com second component and this 2 implies your alpha is 0 and beta is also 0. So therefore your x is a 0 vector. So if you have a vector in the intersection, then that vector is always a 0 vector and therefore dimension of w1 intersection w2 is 0. And therefore, what is dimension of W1 union W2? It is nothing but 2. And therefore, what is the dimension of W1 perp intersection W2 perp? It is nothing but 4 minus 2, which is nothing but 2. So, 2 is the answer for the given question. So, I hope the idea is clear to you. Uh, if you have any doubt in this, you can ask me in the comment section. Or, yeah, I think, yeah, that's all for the day. Thank you.